Uh, my name is Irena Yorica and I'm Solution Architect at NEOS. Well, I've joined the Focus project uh, as soon as the project uh, kicked off and I've been contributing uh, ever since. Uh, about a year ago, I also took uh, a maintainer role and uh, maintainers as a group in general, uh, among other things, also uh, keep track of everything that's going on. Uh, throughout the week, week after week, and uh, we also make sure that everything that's going on is uh, aligned. Uh, and as we move forward, uh, things get more and more complicated and uh, this alignment becomes uh, even more and more crucial. Uh, I'm part of Cloudwain team and Cloudwain is actually a product uh, provided by NEOS. It's a FineOps tool and uh, being part of that project, uh, I actually know a little bit something about all the challenges when you need to deal with cloud and cost, uh, cost and usage data coming from different providers and what it means and how time consuming it can be when you're introducing an additional provider into the mix. So uh, in 2022 uh, at FineOpsX, I've noticed uh, in the agenda there was a chalk talk uh, about uh, open billing standard led by uh, Odom and uh, I got intrigued and halfway through the session I actually got hooked and I was uh, luckily uh, my CEO was also present at that session and uh, we both knew that we uh, we have something to offer and we a lot to gain from this initiative so right then and there I got his permission to participate in the project. So a couple of months later, uh, signing the CLA was just a formality. I believe the most challenging thing was actually coordination and uh, coordination of the contribution. Because whenever you're dealing with such a big pool of uh, contributors, uh, it's a little bit challenging to coordinate things uh, due to the fact that you have to deal with different time zones and uh, we all have our daily jobs. So uh, even though we have a great project manager and well-established procedures, uh, it, it can be uh, challenging. It's time consuming, uh, considering uh, we meet multiple times a week, but at the same time, it's so rewarding. But uh, what I cherish the most is actually the fine of culture not just within the organization, but also within the community. And I believe the focus is basically fine ops culture in action. Uh, you have sitting at the same table uh, week after week, uh, multiple, uh, multiple days throughout the week, providers, practitioners and uh, vendors sharing knowledge, exchanging ideas in order to produce the spec. Well, from practitioner perspective, uh, I believe uh, it depends on the task at hand. So uh, the dimensions and metrics that are supporting the uh, use case that you're trying to resolve are the most important ones at that point. And from a contributor's perspective, I believe that skew details was the most interesting one or the one that we've had uh, the most fun with. And it's uh, something that uh, we are still working on. I would advise practitioners to start reading the spec before going into the, the actual data sets. We are using and planning to uh, consume, support and expose uh, focus data sets. Uh, consider, uh, considering the fact that we are a uh, FineOps tool, we need to address multiple aspects of when dealing with uh, focus. So we, are uh, we are consuming the data, producing and exposing it. Uh, which means that there, uh, there are multi multiple aspects that we need to address and at the same time we have to keep in mind that we are not an island. We need to be aware of the surrounding uh, applications and systems that are also uh, using the data that we are exposing and we need to uh, allow them to transition slowly. So we need to support both data sets at the same time. Well, initially I perceived Focus as an interface between cost and usage data producers and consumers. But uh, in the meantime, I realized that it has potential to become so much more. It's already impacting uh, many surrounding areas. 
uh, pricing uh, data and APIs, for example. And uh, s some I've heard people referring to it as uh, FinOps language. So uh, I also believe uh, that it may become uh, FinOps language. <laughs>